Why are traders so enamored by automated trading systems? In this short video, I'm going to answer that question and a lot more, and we're going to dive into the truth about automated trading systems. Now, I interact with traders on a regular basis from the complete newbie uh, to those with literally a couple of years under their belt, all the way up to the very experienced traders who make six figures and more year after year. Getting from point A, uh, which is having zero to little experience, to point B, which is enjoying the six-figure trader lifestyle without a map of the territory, is really not advised. Unless you're aware of the pitfalls and the potholes along the way, you may end up quitting before reaching the promised land of financial freedom. Naturally, when you first begin, you see the huge potential in trading your money to grow your wealth for retirement and to produce sufficient cash flow for living life on your own terms. You also recognize the importance and power in the diversification of your investments and in having a diversified approach to trading as well. And yet, sometimes it feels like you don't have enough time to do it all on your own. At other times, the process of trading, of reading and understanding the charts, of knowing when to enter or exit a trade, well, it just seems too complicated. Don't feel bad because you're not alone. I started out that way, as did every professional trader that I know. You have to crawl before you can walk, and you have to walk before you can run. Remembering this can help calm your nerves when you're trading. Have you ever heard of Bruce Kovner? He's on the Forbes 400 list and is worth about $9 billion. He was a currency trader who started out with $3,000 on his credit card and turned it into $45,000 only to give nearly half of it back to the market. That was the beginning of his career and he ended up becoming one of the greatest currency traders of all time. Now ultimately, when you finally find a good system to trade with, you start moving more quickly from point A to point B and things get really exciting. If you're not careful, however, the greed glands begin to swell. The dollar signs flashing before your eyes literally cloud your brain. Then, all of a sudden, you make a mistake. You try to outthink the trading system that you're using. More mistakes follow and fear takes hold. The big trade that was there for the picking, well, you miss out because you're afraid. You don't pull the trigger because your confidence has taken a hit. Again, it's not your fault. It happens to all of us. It's one of the reasons why having a diversified trading strategy that includes automated trading systems is so important. You see, Everything I've just described can be attributed to what I call manual trading weakness. Now, if you've ever experienced any of the symptoms that I've mentioned above, however, it's vital that you don't take it personally. Your potential to make a lot of money trading the Forex is not dependent on whether you are a perfect trader. Rather, manual trading weakness is simply part of the game. Successful traders recognize this, which is why it's important to include an automated trading system in your arsenal. So let's take a deeper look into the problem and look more closely at the symptoms of manual trading weakness. So whether your goal as a trader is to earn part-time income or become one of those six-figure traders I was talking about earlier, this knowledge will help you on the road to success. So here are the five main symptoms that I'll cover. Number one, the human emotion roller coaster. Number two, the inevitable human mistakes. Number three, the inability to analyze large sets of data. Number four, not able to optimize your strategy quickly. And number five, succumbing to a manual trading bias. So let's deal with the human emotion roller coaster first. Now, there's not much getting around this one. 
We're all prone to the wide swings of human emotion. You could literally spend a lifetime reading books on mastering your emotions, and many of those books are quite good. I've read a number of them. Now, this is especially true if you are a student of trading. The problem is that in the thick of the battle, your instincts kick in, which can override any intellectual understanding that you might have. Fear and greed are rooted deep. Now, the perfect trader would be Mr. Spock from Star Trek. Spock looks at events logically and objectively and follows a rational plan when creating a solution to a problem. Now, if Spock was a trader, he would first craft a well thought out trading strategy. He would next identify the market conditions that suggest his strategy could produce a profit. Then and only then would he execute his plan. But Mr. Spock is Vulcan. He's not human. Now, for you Star Trek fans, he's half human. Still, Spock is able to control his emotions so they don't rule his actions. He's able to keep emotions like fear, hope, and greed in check. Think about it. Even though you instinctively know that taking losses is part of the game, how often do you get frustrated or fearful when the losses mount up? Then, after a series of consecutive losses, it becomes harder to take the next trade. It's when you don't push the button because of fear that you miss out on the biggest trade of the year. On the flip side, euphoria can be just as damaging. After you win multiple times, you become euphoric, which leads to overconfidence. Now, as a result, on the next trade you place, a larger than normal risk or you abandon your risk control strategy altogether, and it turns into a major loss. Now, here's a graph of the roller coaster ride that your emotions can take you on. Look there at the very beginning on the left hand side. It starts with optimism. When you get into trading, you're very optimistic about the opportunity. You start to learn, and as you learn, you might learn some things that are good and that work, and you begin to make money. That's when excitement kicks in. You, you say to yourself, I can really do this, uh, it's really working. Then you win a few more trades and now thrill kicks in. And right about this time, you're saying to yourself, wow, I really feel great about this investment, about making this decision. Then all of a sudden, euphoria kicks in. You win a few more trades and you get that euphoric feeling like you are invincible, like you can't be beat. And this is generally when traders take that maximum financial risk. They do what I call load the boat. They load the trade up to the point where they are risking financial ruin if indeed those trades begin to go against them. Now, as they do that, they lose that first trade. And then they think to themselves, well, I've got to keep this risk up because I've got to make that money back that I just lost. And as they lose a few more, anxiety kicks in. A few more, denial kicks in. A few more, fear kicks in. And then all of a sudden you're saying to yourself, well, this is just a temporary setback. You know, I'm a long-term investor. I'm looking at this from the long-term perspective. But then desperation hits. And before long, you're panicking. And then guess what happens? You capitulate. You give up altogether. You say, maybe the markets just aren't for me. Now, if you stay with it, then despondency comes. Depression hits, of course. These are all emotions that every trader uh, who is successful has experienced at one point or another. Now, at this point, this is your opportunity for maximum financial uh, growth because you've been through the roller coaster of emotions. And then all of a sudden, hope kicks in, relief kicks in, and optimism kicks in again once you start to see that you can actually do this again and that your trades are working in your favor. And hopefully by now, you've learned your lesson. Now, the bottom line is that both highs and lows of human emotions can wipe out your trading account faster than you can blink an eye. So let's talk about the second thing here, and that is the inevitable human mistakes. Now, having a trading plan is an important key to success. I don't want to minimize that. 
One of its benefits is that a trading plan helps you cut down on your losses and your mistakes. But even a good trading plan doesn't remove all human error from the equation. Let's face it, humans are prone to error no matter what business they're working in. In fact, in the US, there's an entire government organization called OSHA that regulates various industries in an effort to reduce accidents caused by human error. Now, when it comes to Forex trading, there are a number of moving parts. Now, because of this, it's not uncommon for traders to make mistakes in one or more of those moving parts at the same time. Human mistakes in trading can be devastating uh, to their financial accounts. And I've heard horror stories over the years that attest to this. Some of these errors include, and you can put a check next to any of the ones that you've made, placing a stop at the wrong place by entering the wrong number. Now, usually this number is far away from where you should have placed it, causing you a much greater loss. So your stop was supposed to be X, but you missed a number and you made it Y. You didn't double check. And now the price has blown right through your stop and it's gone way below that stop. And you come back and you look at the charts and then you think to yourself, why am I still in this trade? And you realize the error that you've made. How about taking a larger position than what you should have? For instance, your position sizing rules tell you to trade one mini lot, but instead you trade one full lot. Now this is based obviously on your account size. And so one mini lot, you would have been risking 1% of your account. But now instead, because you traded one full lot, you are in at 10 times the risk on this trade. Now, if you don't catch the trade in time and the trade moves against you, your 1% loss could be a 10% loss. Now, Here's another one, having a demo account and a live account open at the same time. I once had a student who did this, believe it or not. He was literally placing a bunch of trades through the night on what he thought was his demo account. He was just messing around. And when it all came down to it, at the end of the day, it was actually his live account. Now, I don't mean to make light of that because that's a very serious situation. And I got a call in the morning, by the time he had realized what had happened, he was $30,000 in the hole and had a mess of trades to unwind. So that's a big mistake. Never, ever, ever, ever keep your demo account and your live account open at the same time thinking that you're just going to be messing around placing trades on your demo account. Only place trades in your demo account that you would actually place in your live account. That's what a demo account is for. Here's another one, placing your entry orders at the wrong spot. Now, when you're monitoring multiple currencies and multiple time frames, things can really get difficult to handle. Sometimes you can place your order entry at the wrong spot, just like placing your stop loss at the wrong spot, and you can either get filled too early or not get filled at all depending on where your order entry goes, making you miss out on a profitable or potentially profitable trade. So the combination of mistakes that you can make as a trader is literally innumerable. And these mistakes can be costly and devastating to your trading account. This is just another fact of life when it comes to trading manually versus using an automated trading system. Let's look at number three, and that is the inability to analyze large sets of data. So backtesting is really a key component to developing a good trading system. Now, in case you're new to trading, backtesting is the process of testing a strategy on prior time periods. So instead of testing a strategy for a time period going forward, which obviously could take years, a trader can do a simulation of his or her trading strategy on relevant past data to gauge its effectiveness. All technical strategies should be backtested. Now, I backtested strategies manually on many occasions, and I can tell you this, it can take several weeks to run the numbers through just a few years. If and when you want to test a new variation or idea, you have to go back through and do it again. 
which can take several more weeks. Another drawback to human back testing is that in order to do it properly and effectively, you need to analyze multiple years to account for all market conditions. Now, this can be challenging and very time consuming. Now, on top of all of this, mistakes are possible during the back testing process when you do it manually. For example, did you take into account commissions? Did you make every trade you were supposed to? Were you completely rigid in your approach? Or did you change things up during the process because you saw certain trades that worked out in your favor by doing it a different way? Manual backtesting is obviously great for learning a strategy inside and out and for getting uh, a good feel for the market movements. And there's really great value in what I call chart time. Uh, and it makes you a better trader overall. As far as testing a strategy or multiple variations of a technical strategy, it isn't efficient at all. Let's look briefly at number four, and that is not able to optimize your strategy quickly. Now, I won't spend a whole lot of time on this one, but I will say that unless you are a seasoned and professional trader, it can be very difficult to trade a one-size-fits-all strategy. Market conditions can change literally from day to day. One day you can have a trending market and the next day you can have a consolidating market. And this can wreak havoc on a trader both emotionally and mentally. Yet as a trader, you need to optimize your strategy quickly in changing market conditions. Let's look at number five and that is succumbing to a manual trading bias. Now, humans can be very opinionated. Just turn on CNBC and you'll see five different talking heads with a different opinion about which way the market is going to go. But at the end of the day, it's all about the numbers. Numbers don't lie. Now, a bias in trading can be a dangerous thing, especially when that bias breaks the rules of your trading strategy. You can start thinking that you know more than you really know. Now, breaking your rules and winning can be even more dangerous than breaking your rules and losing. It can put you in a state of euphoria where you feel a surge of overconfidence, which can lead to your ruin as a trader. Breaking your rules and losing can make you feel a very strong emotion of regret, and neither one is good for you or for your trading account. Now, there are some additional problems with manual trading, and I'll go into that right now. I've heard a statistic that only 10% of traders succeed. And though I'm not sure if there's any solid proof behind it, I would say that it's probably more like 20% that actually succeed and they don't lose money. And that fits in line with the 80-20 rule, which is a powerful force of the universe. Now, in fact, here is a screenshot that shows some of the top Forex brokers and the percentage of profitable accounts versus unprofitable accounts. Now, based on these statistics, you can see that on average, 65.7% of the accounts at these 10 brokers are losing accounts. And that's just 10 brokers out of the hundreds worldwide. Like I said, I think the number is closer to 80% losers and 20% winners. So there is an obvious problem here, pointing to a common denominator uh, between the winners and a common denominator between the losers. Now I've already named five of these common denominators or symptoms associated with manual trading, but are there others? Well, in my 10 years as a trader and seven years as an educator slash trainer, I've worked with thousands of other traders, and here are two additional symptoms that I've observed. The first is falling for strategies that don't work. Now realize this, there are scam artists who will slap a fancy graphic on something, manipulate back tests, and then sell you a piece of junk. They play on the desire to get rich without any effort whatsoever. Trading broken strategies or buying over-optimized 
$97 ClickBank robots. However, this is not an easy way to riches. It's an easy way to the poorhouse. Number two, having unrealistic expectations. So some erroneously think that trading is a quick way to cure their financial troubles. Rich traders understand something that the average newbie trader almost never gets, which is the power of compounding. You can grow a fortune even if you're starting out at 60 years old. You just have to be disciplined, determined, and you have to trust in the power of compound interest. So getting good at trading takes time and hard work. I don't want to say that it doesn't. It takes discipline and determination. You have to have an analytical and rational mind, but you have to be creative as well. Some have a knack for it and some don't. But I do believe that it can also be learned. And that is why I've dedicated the last seven years to educating and training traders just like I was trained and educated. Now, in fact, I'm still learning. I eat, breathe, and sleep the markets. I have thousands of hours of chart time and I've programmed hundreds of strategies and several of them haven't worked. Some have been mediocre and others have been phenomenal. I've made money, I've lost money, and I've experienced virtually every emotion under the sun that you can have while trading. The conclusion that I've come to is this. Anyone can learn how to trade, but most people aren't willing to put in the time and the work that it takes to get good at trading. Are you one of these people? I have no clue. If you aren't, is all lost? And can you still make money? Well, keep listening for part of the answer. So let me now get into the truth about automated trading systems. Now, human nature being what it is, who hasn't bought into the idea at one point or another of being able to plug an automated trading strategy, aka robot, into their account and then making a fortune overnight? The ads are all over the internet. Ads like this, double your account every month. 99% win rate with this Forex robot. But do trading robots really work? Well, yes and no. Let me start with the reasons why they don't work first, okay? Most Forex robots that you see on the market today are not sold by traders. They're sold by marketers. They are typically presented in a way that causes people's greed glands to swell. What's more, they show unrealistic returns that can never be sustained. Now, it's impossible to double your account every month without having a blowout at some point. Any trader worth their salt knows this. In addition, most of the results they show you are for small time periods, like a month or two. This makes it easy to fit a strategy's parameters to do well in that time frame. But the longer you stretch out that period of time, the more likely the strategy will encounter market conditions where it doesn't work. Bottom line, never waste your time or your money on a strategy that someone is not willing to explain or are not willing to show you a track record for at least six months. Now for the good news, which is that 4X robots are nothing new. Professional traders don't call them robots, however, but they call them automated systems, quant strategies, or quant systems. You can also call them automated trading systems. Now, quant strategies have been around for nearly 70 years. In the 1950s and 1960s, quantitative analysis flourished in the academic community with the work of guys like Harry Markowitz, Robert Merton, and a host of others. Over the past 50 years, quantitative analysis has become a mainstay on Wall Street. Large firms like Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan Chase, uh, use quant strategies and algorithms to manage their assets. Of course, other lesser known traders like Bill Dunn of Dunn Capital Management was among the first to use quant strategies on managed futures in the 1970s. And since then, all of their strategies are fully automated and systematic. He's produced a composite return of 18% per year for the past 28 years and manages over $1 billion. So 
While Forex robots may be the craze on the internet, they aren't new. That being said, because of easy access to programming equipment and platforms, quant strategies are now making their way to the individual trader. Now, once you're able to get past the hype of scam bots, the truth is that professionally built Forex robots solve most, if not all, of the problems discussed in this report. For example, they help remove human emotion by executing orders automatically and making all decisions based on pre-programming. Once a strategy has been programmed with all of the trading logic necessary to execute and manage orders, you're able to eliminate the human error factor involved in manual trading. Case in point, you don't have to worry about entering the wrong position size because the algorithm does it all for you. Programming a strategy allows you to analyze an enormous amount of data with the click of a button, removing the lengthy process of manually backtesting a strategy. A dynamically programmed trading strategy will adjust on the fly based on market conditions. There's really no more guesswork involved at that point. Plus, automating your strategy completely removes any trading bias that you might have about a particular market or trade further removing the possibility of human error. While using an automated trading system helps eliminate the problems associated with manual trading and make results much more consistent, that's only the start of the benefits. One of the biggest advantages is that automated trading systems reduce the amount of time spent in front of the charts, giving you the freedom to enjoy the important things in life and also the freedom to test more strategies to learn more about trading. All right, let's talk about the difference between good robots and bad robots. Even, there, even though there are a lot of scamware Forex robots on the market, there are also very high level automated trading systems that work. So how can you tell the difference? Well, first you have to understand how an automated algorithm works. The mechanics of all trading robots are pretty much the same and they're very simple. The robot analyzes and compares every tick of data to the set parameters that have been pre-programmed. Based on the results, it makes a trade or stays away from the market. Now bad robots are generally programmed using fixed entry and exit rules. The biggest problem with this logic is that it does not factor in rapidly changing market conditions. For instance, the logic may be that if X happens, then the bot will enter a trade with a 10 pip stop loss and a 35 pip profit target. If a high impact news announcement is released, however, market dynamics can shift very quickly and volatility can go through the roof. 99% of all retail trading robots sold by marketers do not factor things like this in and therefore they lose very rapidly. They are what I call static robots. The best robots are dynamic, meaning they adjust with market conditions on the fly. Now what this means is that they are pre-programmed to pay attention to news releases, economic reports, and other data that could add volatility into the market. They also very rarely have a static stop loss and profit target in mind, but set the stop loss and profit target based on current market conditions. The position sizing algorithm, of course, is usually figured by taking a percentage of account equity or account balance. So when looking to add an automated trading system to your trading portfolio, you most definitely want one that is dynamic. So now that you have a basic understanding of how robots work, there are three robot categories to be aware of. There's robots that are based on indicators and these robots make trading decisions based on the interaction of price action and either public or proprietary indicators. And these can be good systems. Then there are robots that are based on statistics like Grid and Martingale. Now these strategies use either a very basic or a very complex statistical approach to trade the markets and they generally look to eliminate the need for knowing the fundamental or the technical aspect of a market. Now, I never, ever, ever use Martingale strategies because they compound losing trades, and in my book, that's a big no-no. Now, grid trading, on the other hand, can be very profitable with the right system and in the right market. 
The main thing with a grid system is, is that you want to trade it in a low volatility market and with conservative risk. Then you have robots that are based on neural networks. And usually these use a mix of technical data and maybe fundamental data. And then the neural network takes into consideration all parameters and it actually can adjust or it can automatically optimize your strategy uh, as the robot gets smarter and smarter. So using neural networks and automated trading can be a very profitable approach. Usually it can add anywhere from 10 to 30 percent uh, more efficiency to a trading strategy by plugging it into a neural network. And a neural network is usually programmed on a large amount of data and it is able to make adjustments and optimizations on the fly. Now to close out this section of the report, here are some important things to remember when looking at an automated trading solution. Number one, never use a system that you do not know where the stop loss is. Number two, never use a system that pyramids into a losing trade. That means you're in a losing trade and it adds a position to that losing trade. Never use a martingale system because of the negative pyramiding. And number four, never use a system that has a broker affiliation. Brokers make money through trading transactions, okay? So never use a system with a broker affiliation. Now, here are some questions to get answered before investing in an automated trading system. Number one, how does the money management work? Knowing your risk, obviously, and being comfortable, uh, how an automated trading system handles risk is vitally important to your trading account. Number two, what is the developer's history? Are they a trader? And what is their track record? Number three, what are the back test results? How long is the system back tested for? And number four, what kind of strategy does it deploy? Is it a scalping, intraday trading, swing trading, or position trading strategy? Now, I do highly recommend using an automated trading system as part of a diversified trading strategy. There are obvious distinct advantages to using an automated trading system that can offset the challenges of trading manually. If you love trading, it's an additional income stream. And if you're still learning how to trade, your account can grow on autopilot while you sharpen your trading skills. For more information on our automated trading solutions, you can download the full white paper companion to this video at the web address on the screen. Inside, I'll give you the details of a fully automated trading system that I've been using that exceeds all of my expectations. It's a professionally developed robot that has churned out gains of 69.31% in the initial seven months. And this is what I mean when I say good robot. Until next time, Cecil Robles with your Forex Mentor, checking out.